So can I just start? I can start? Okay. Okay. Okay, so this one is for Donna Estrada. But Father, what do you want to say to Donna tonight? And um, oh, Donna, I just feel like the word is saying, well done, good and faithful servant. I feel like you're a real worker. And so uh, you're a person that likes to get things done. And, uh, you know, you don't like to be um, idle. Even in even in your uh, free time, I see that you, you know, really enjoy it. But I just have that, such a sense of a creativity on you. Like almost like you're an event planner for your friends and family like you like to make special occasions special and um and i feel like the lord wants you to know that he wants to make your special occasion special and i feel like there's a special occasion that's coming up for you and um he just wants you to know that despite all that's going on you know um he still has some special things planned for you and so i feel like he just wants you to lay down any peace or any wrestling that you're having with it and just um and just relax and know that he's got all things into con under control but i love that word that he gave me that you you're like an event planner for your friends and family. You really know how to make others feel special, but God feels the same way about you. And he wants you to take time to let him make you feel special. So let me know if that makes sense to you. So for Sophia Joyce, you. Uh, Father, what do you want to say to Sophia Joyce right now? And Sophia Joyce, I just feel like I hear the word, the joy of the Lord is my strength. I also feel like um, he surrounds me with songs of deliverance in the nighttime. And so um, I, I feel like this is a season for you where, you know, um, the songs of deliverance, the sounds of joy, the walking in joy, um, that's being released in you. I feel like um, I saw a picture of you and you were like really muscle bound. And um, I don't know if you're a workout person or what, or if it's just a spiritual picture but I feel like you're much stronger than you know I feel like you've been through stuff that's really um, enabled you to learn to kind of there's an old saying that says punch above your weight you know but I think you lift above your weight spiritually and so um, I just want to bless the fact that you um, have really learned to um, you know develop your strength in the Lord and uh, it's, it's for such a time as this especially when you're praying so um, I just I bless you in that for Lydia uh, Ganaka, um, Father, what do you want to say to Lydia tonight? And um, Lydia, I just feel like he's saying that he wants you to know um, how special you are to him. I feel like uh, you, I kind of see a picture of you um, that sometimes you, what I saw was a picture of you like standing on the outside of a, it was like a storefront and you were looking in through the window and everybody, um, you know, lots of people were in there having a party and you were wanting to get in and you couldn't quite find the door to get in. And I felt like he wants to remind you that Jesus said, you know, I'm the door, you know, I'm the door. And so there are areas that you've been wanting to enter into, maybe areas of, I don't know if it's fellowship, I don't know if it's gifting, I don't know if it's ministry, you know, but I feel like um, you've kind of felt like, you know, you keep seeing everybody else and, and wondering, you know, when is it going to be my turn? And I feel like the Lord is saying, it's just that simple. He is going to be the door for you. He's promised you that. So he'll be the way for you to get into those areas that um, you've been praying about, but also those areas that he's wanting to release you in. And I feel like some of them are going to be assignments that are going to last longer than others and be okay with that. Not everything he gives you is going to be a lifetime assignment, but um, you're going to be picking up skills along the way. So I hope that makes sense. Please let me know. Miles Tan. So Father, what do you want to say to Miles tonight? And uh, Miles, I heard for you the same thing I heard for somebody else, is that well done, good and faithful servant. I feel like uh, the Lord wants me to tell you that, you know, he knows your heart. He sees that you are one who um, really wants to do everything with excellence. And, and he knows your heart is that you're wanting to, you know, so be in what we call like the perfect will of God. But um, I feel like he wants you to know too that, um, um, don't let that excellence hold you back sometimes because uh, sometimes like as kids you know when kids first start to learn something they're not always the best at it you know they color outside the lines they you know they're wobbly on a bike you know all of those kind of things and uh, but you know as they as they practice they get proficient at it and they get better at it and I feel like he's got some new things coming up for you and I, I, I feel like I'm supposed to encourage you like don't worry if if you're not proficient at things right away 
because uh, what he's about to do for you in this season isn't about increasing your head knowledge about everything, but it's about increasing your experience of those things he's about to take you into. And I feel like you've been asking for some experiences. So I really felt like there's something of, about the Holy Spirit that's coming to you in a fresh new way. And, um, and I keep getting the word healing too. So I don't know if that's something that you've been praying for, but um, I feel like, you know, he healing is not something you could just know about. Healing is something you have to have practical experience for. So I feel like there's some practical experiences coming for you. So, and like I said, don't worry if you don't get it perfect the first time, you know, it's like um, he's a father who is loving and enjoying training you. So, Melissa White, um, no, Melissa, we have not exceeded our list. In fact, you're only, I think, number five. So tonight I've got lots of time. So, um, Father, when you look at Melissa, what is one of your precious words for her? And, um, yeah, just let me take a second here, Melissa, because I have a couple of things coming to me. Yeah, thank you, Lord. So, um, Melissa, I felt like, um, you know, I was just, I had been looking at the scripture earlier from Psalm 67. It says, may God be gracious to us and bless us and make his face shine upon us. And I feel like that very much is you, you know, that he is, he wants to be gracious to you and make his face shine upon you. But the next part of that verse is that your ways may be known on the earth and your salvation among all the nations and um, I don't know if you've been on missions trips or been thinking about a missions trip uh, which I think is like awesome and I think that part of what that verse is talking about but I feel like you've got a missions ground where you live I, I don't know what your neighbor is like I don't know what your city is like I don't even know where you live but I feel like there's nations around you and that um, just because of how he makes his face shine upon you and how um, he's gracious to you and blesses you I feel like that you've got a a mission feels very close to you and he's going to use you um, to touch lives and I also feel like um, don't diminish the power of a cup of coffee with somebody don't diminish the power of a hug you know don't diminish um, being brave sometime and saying are you okay and can I pray for you because I feel like you're a real little missionary where you are so I hope that makes sense to you and please let me know if it does or if it doesn't Okay, um, Olga Almodova, Almodova. So sorry, Olga, if I said that badly. So, Father, what would you like to say to Olga? And um, Olga, I just feel like the Lord is saying, "Fear not." I just feel like He's saying, "Fear not." And so, um, I, I just there's just such a sense that uh, you know He's got everything under control, and. Uh, just feel like that you're anxious about something or you know and maybe it's direction and wanting to hear and, and um, I just really feel to pray rest for you that you would occupy the place well where he has you right now and that um, you know you wouldn't try to make something happen but rather that you could rest right now in in where he's got you and rest in that he's a good God and that he loves you and um, I just bless you to know that I feel like the direction you're seeking is coming and, um, but it's going to come when he knows it's the right time to tell you. So I encourage you to find that rest in God. Um, and let me know if that makes sense. So Alyssa C. Thomas. Um, hi, Alyssa. Uh, please add me as my second time here. And never had a word. Well, aren't you? Didn't you just get the best night ever? So because there's no big line tonight. So, Father, I just thank you so much for Alyssa. And I just ask you right now, Father, would you, when you look at this girl and you think your precious thoughts of her, would you just give me one of your precious thoughts for Alyssa right now? And um, uh, Alyssa, I just feel like the, uh, I heard that song from Song of Songs where it says, come away, my beloved. And I, I feel like that you're in a season or coming into a season that a lot of us often misunderstand, but it's a season where he is just really wanting you to himself. And so I feel like it's a season where your devotion, your quiet time, whatever you call it, where um, he just really wants you to know him intimately, know his heart, know his thoughts, um, and not just about everybody else, but he's wanting to tell you what he thinks and feels about you. Because he knows that as he pours that into you, you'll, you'll be and you'll be bold and you'll be
courageous. And so, uh, and he also wants you to be able to do those things out of a place of being loved, not out of a place of feeling like you have to do. So um, I just bless you in that, bless you in finding that time of just enjoying just that wonderful intimacy with God in your quiet time as you discover from the one who created you how unique and special you are. So Mary Lou, hi from Australia. Hi Mary Lou. I have relatives that live in Australia, so that's very cool. I, uh, let me know if this makes sense, uh, and we'll just ask the Lord uh, what he has to say for you. So, Lord, what do you have to say for Mary Lou? And it's, it's interesting, I instantly got the word um, explorer or adventurer. And um, I feel like uh, you've got some energy, like you are just, you're not afraid to take on stuff. You're not afraid to tackle new ground, new territory. And um, I don't necessarily think that that is even necessarily in the natural. I think that you tackling new territory is like you taking on new things, like emotionally and spiritually, and uh, uh, being able to jump in and off. I think you offer to volunteer for stuff a lot. And so, um, you know, it's like, I'm not afraid okay nobody else is going to do it i'll do it and i just felt like the lord wanted you to know he just loves that about you he loves that the way he created you you have completely responded to and you thought that that was just you and your personality and in a way it is because it's how he's wired you and so he loves that that you um, can tackle stuff and take on stuff and i think because of that there's some uh, really unique little things coming for you i also felt like he said to tell you that um, you have sown into some lives that you probably don't even realize. And because, you know, other people might look back and say, well, that wasn't anything special. I just did this. Or, you know, that wasn't any big thing. I just knew that she needed the help in this or or something like that and um, I just felt like the Lord was saying but you have no idea the seed that you've sown in people's lives and so I really bless you because I, I really believe that there's a, a a crop a harvest that's behind you that you're not aware of and uh and he's really pleased with you but I feel like there is some bigger things coming up and not that bigger is any better but I just think um where he's going to be asking you to trust him as you tackle some big new territory so go for it uh Linda Mishler so father what do you want to say to Linda today and um Linda I just feel like the Lord is saying that you know um when he sees you he sees you as a daughter when he sees you he sees you as you know a daughter of the king is called a princess and i don't know if anybody's ever called you princess linda but i feel like he calls you his princess you're his one and um you know there's a verse that talks about you know the daughter of the king and the and her um attendants come in and put the cape on her the garment on her and, and um i just feel like this is a season where um god is wanting to send uh, whether it's heavenly attendants or earthly attendants, but um, ones that are going to honor your position, they're going to recognize it, and they're going to love to see you um, adored and adorned by Him. And so, um, if you've got a friend that's been, you know, trying to talk you into some new stuff, maybe new hairstyles, maybe new outfits, you know, um, yeah, I know that sounds like really simplistic, but I don't know. Like I say these things and think afterwards, oh, what was that supposed to mean? I just think it has to do with that scripture about you being adorned. God wants to dress you up and he wants people to know that you're his daughter. And I feel like he just wants you to receive that. So let me know if that makes sense. Um, Shavina Sharma. So, Father, what do you want to say to Shavina today? And Shavina, um, I just got the word sing. Sing to the Lord with all your heart. I just feel like there's some songs coming for you. I just feel like, uh, you know, that over and over through Psalms, it talks about sing unto the Lord, you know, sing praise to his name. You know, it talks about, um, you know, uh, the songs of deliverance, you know, and, and there's just so many shout to the Lord, you know, sing to the glory of his name. I just feel like there's something about you and singing. And so I just want to encourage you that um, there is something about when you sing. And I, I saw you at a, at a kitchen sink, and I saw you singing. And I'm almost wondering, do you just kind of sing all by yourself? Or are you a part of something? Or, you know, that you, because um, I don't know if you, you judge whether you should be out there singing with other 
others, but I just feel like he loves that time with you and him when you're just doing your um, doing your dishes. And so I just encourage you to keep singing and uh, and know that he's listening to you. And there's some, yeah, I just, there's more I could say, but I'm just going to leave it at that. So Heather Cottrell, um, Father, is there something that you want to say to Heather right now? Let's sing to Heather. Boy, I've been really on singing. So, um, Father, that you, uh, Heather, I feel like, um, is it Heather? Yeah. Heather, I feel like, you know, the Lord's reminding me um, that his love endures forever. He is good and his love endures forever. And so I just feel like he wants you to be so aware of how everlasting and enduring his love is for you and there's nothing from the, your past there's no mistakes that you've made whether in the present or the past that could ever make that love be diminished even in the smallest way but that when he looks at you that like he, he literally thinks of how beautiful and good you are and it's because you know he has thrown the past as far as the east is from the west and so because of that i feel like this is a season of a new slate for you it's a picture i just saw a whiteboard that was completely clean and i feel like that there's a strategy or plan coming almost like you're planning on going for a trip and on the whiteboard you're planning out the trip what's the route you're going to take and so i feel like involve you in that and if there's a natural trip coming up let me know but i just feel like there is a, a like this planning of a of a new trip and strategy coming for you and uh, be excited because he uh, he's excited he's excited that you're willing to take that on um so i'm going to go to a don weed thank you for letting me know that the word was right on the last time you're on here and dora thank you for letting you know that when we all pray for your son that he got the job that's awesome so way to go you guys that's the lord's way of letting you know that when we come into agreement you know he does great things so um sarah query norris um i'm praying that the lord has something to say to me through you tonight well uh, I hope so too, and if not, uh, I know that he'll speak to you personally because, you know, it says, my sheep hear my voice, and God is always speaking. So first off, Lord, I pray right now for Sarah that her ability to hear you would increase. I pray that the volume of your voice um, would just increase for her, and Father, any blockages would be removed out of the way for her. And um, Sarah, I feel like I hear that scripture about lift uh, my eyes up unto the hills from whence my help comes from. And I just feel like you're in a season where God is asking you to kind of lift your vision up. And I don't know whether that means like think bigger, but um, there's something about, um, you know, looking towards the Lord to, to help you and to give you, I think, number one, to help you. But I think also lift your eyes up to get the vision of what he wants to do for you. So I hope that makes sense. Erica Valdez. Hello, uh, Erica. So, Father, what do you want to say to Erica? Erica, I felt like I, I saw the word right away, hungry, and I'm thirsty. And I want you to know that he says he satisfies the thirsty and he fills the hungry with good things. And so I pray right now for a filling up and a satisfying coming from you. Um, I just pray that if you're filled up with other things that, you know, um, are not as satisfying, kind of like maybe spiritual junk food, that God would uh, just turn your heart towards those things that will satisfy you. And I just bless you in that, Erica. I feel like he's really, I see you at a crossroads kind of looking, and um, you know, it says to ask him where the good way is. And so I just pray for you to hear that good way as you just focus on him. So Aileen, Aileen Vasquez, Vasquez, uh, again, sorry if I'm mispronouncing your words. I don't have Dave beside me to um, help me with them. Um, so, Eileen, so Lord, what do you want to say to Eileen right now? Um, Eileen, like, are you a prayer? I just get a sense that you're a prayer um, because I just looked down and I was all of a sudden saw the scripture about how um, they cried unto the Lord in their trouble and how he saved them from their distress. And I feel like that may be a sign of, you know, of your own relationship at different times, like he saved you, he's heard your cry. But I also feel like it was um, speaking to me that you are someone who prays for others to be saved from their distress. And I feel like the Lord just wants you to know that he does hear you. He hears your cry when you pray for other people. But he wants you to know it's also okay to pray for yourself and for your loved ones and for your prodigals and for your 
um, for your situation. I feel like when I said situation too, I don't know if you work outside the home, but I was seeing you working somewhere. And um, I felt like the Lord was saying to tell you that he's placed you there for you to pray, to pray for those ones around you. And um, yeah, that doesn't mean that we witness in a religious way to people. We just walk around showing God's kindness, love, love and his goodness to people. And we pray, we pray to change the atmosphere in a place. And I just feel like you've got that kind of anointing on you. Let me know if that makes sense, okay? Um, let's see, Herman Mullins. So Father, what do you want to say to Herman? You know, and uh, again, Herman, I'm just feeling like God calls you faithful like he calls you faithful i just feel like you're like one of those um you know warriors that you know we read about in the old testament that were considered you know um part of a, a mighty group you know and i feel like um you might not be mighty in stature or anything like that because i have no idea what you look like but i feel like you're mighty in spirit and the lord sees that and i feel like he wants you to know it and embrace it and grab a hold of it because um it, there's something about when you understand your strength in the spirit, when you understand your strength in the Lord, how you can um, really be directed by him to not only win battles, you know, over your, for your family and on behalf of your church and on behalf of other people, but also to release something in the heavenlies around your name, around your church. So I just bless you. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry, everybody. Um, Sarah McManomy, can I get prayer for my home church? Sure you can. So where is your home church? Well, wherever it is, thank goodness God knows, right? Um, so Father, we just lift up Sarah's home church right now. Lord, you know exactly what they need. You know exactly what their needs are. And so Father, we thank you so much for faithful people, faithful, enduring people. And we just say, Lord, would you come? Would you come and bless them with an outpouring of your Holy Spirit, with an outpouring of revelation of your great love for them? Would you give them a fresh outpouring of how special they are to you? And how, I, just, I don't use this word very often, but how important they are to you. And that their place in, um, in the kingdom, their place on the earth is important. That it's not by chance that they are where they are, that you've placed them there. So Lord, we ask for peace to reign. Father, we call down unity among them. Lord, I ask that you would just remove any wolves in sheep's clothing. You would remove any plants there that are from the enemy. But you would bless the unity among the saints there that in their unity would grow a, a, an increased anointing um, in authority of their prayers being answered. And um, I just feel like there's a healing pool in the church when I was praying that. So, Father, I bless the, the words that they're a healing place to be increased and for them to start seeing the effects of that in Jesus' name. So, um, Michelle Nolan. So, Father, just thank you so much for Michelle. And, Lord, we bless her. We bless her to be all that you've called her to be. Um, Michelle, I see you playing an instrument. It's not really a guitar, but it kind of looks like a guitar. And so, uh, like a minstrel. So, I don't know if you are an instrument person, but um, I just bless you to, uh, I just bless the songs of the Lord that are in your spirit, those spirit songs to come out of you. And um, I just bless your, your, um, musical talent and creativity and uh, I just bless that to become known to you again almost like almost like you're changing you know like you were playing one thing now you're playing another um, I just feel like because there's an increased anointing on worship for you so I bless you for that and in that so um, Jennifer Grimm if you have a word from the Lord for my son Gabriel, would you share? So I'm assuming Gabriel's going to listen to this, Jennifer, or else he's listening to it right now. So Father, so Gabriel, I just want you to know I'm, uh, I don't know where you're from, but I'm in Canada, and I am going to just ask the Lord to give me something special for you. So Father, what do you want to say to this amazing young man, and what do you want to say to him? What when you look at him, what is one of your precious thoughts towards him? And um, Gabriel, I felt like I right away ended up in Proverbs for you and felt like, you know, a number of things. He talks all the way through Proverbs so many times about my son, my son, my son. And there's one verse that says in Proverbs 3, my son, don't forget 
heed at my teaching, but keep my commands in their hearts, because they that will prolong your life. You know, and then it goes on again too about you know my listen, my son, to your father's instructions, and he's talking about Father God right there. You know, it just goes on and on like that, and so I feel like what he's saying to you, Gabriel, is you know you have a father in him. And he has promised to father you. And I feel like he wants you to know that you do have a calling. There is a call and a destiny on your life. And I feel like part of what he's saying to you is like, um, uh, I don't know if that's caused you a bit of confusion. I don't know if other people are putting that on you. I don't know if you're young and people have put too much on you too soon. But I just feel like the Lord is saying, just relax, you know. Um, I, you know, the teaching that you've got, the stuff that's in your heart, you know, the, um, the relationship with God as your father, he's going to use all of that to just bring grace to you and just bring you into that area of, um, of just of, of a ministry of helping people. I feel like he wants you to know, like, you don't have to be worried about what he's going to ask you to. It's going to be something that you're wired to do and that you like. And so um, I just feel like if there's stuff you're struggling with, just lay it all down at his feet and just say to him now, you know, Jesus, just give me back the things that you're interested in that you and I can do together. And I just feel like he's going to sort out some of your wrestling for you. So I hope that makes sense Gabriel and Jennifer let me know if that made sense to you who is related to Jennifer who just got a word for Gabriel so we have three of them that's awesome so Father thank you for a family that loves you thank you for these women who love your word thank you for these women who love to hear from you thank you for these women who um, who honor the prophetic thank you for these women that um, believe in words of knowledge and words of wisdom and Father my sense is that that's a gift that um, Dolores I feel like that you and Jennifer Father's home you have have not because you ask not and I just feel like um, you know he's got wisdom benefits of wisdom for you for for you I just feel like um, he's bringing uh, wisdom to you in a new way I feel like there's wisdom coming to you from um, from above that is going to cause you to be able to know what decisions to make uh, like so that when you're standing there going which way do I go you're gonna hear his say turn to the right or turn to the left but I really feel like there's um I feel like um Jennifer the Lord is saying ask me to hold that gift in you and I don't know if you've ever had any teaching on it I don't know if you've ever even thought of it but I just keep feeling like the word prophetic or the word um, words of knowledge that are in you and I sense that they're in Jennifer too and so I just really encourage you guys to um you know, invest in that gift and find out more about it. So if you've never heard of a guy named Sean Boltz, I would tell you to uh, look him up and read his book, Translating God. I think that will really help you guys. There's a lot more coming for you. God bless you guys. So um, Barbara Marquise. So uh, Father, I just pray for Barbara right now. I thank you so much that she loves you. I thank you that her heart for you is is um, legendary in heaven. And Father, where the enemy has tried to take away her encouragement, would you begin to pour in your truth? Father, where there have been any lies, that would you lift them off and would you begin to just pour that truth in? And Barbara, I also feel like the Lord is saying that you're very sensitive and you've got this um, kindness and compassion and empathetic heart about you. And so I just want to pray right now that Father, where the enemy is taking advantage of that, and so she's getting weighed down by the stuff she's picking up around her and by picking up in the people around her, even picking up off the news. We ask that you would just guard her gift compassion and mercy so it does not overwhelm her but instead father that she would um, be able to pray up to you the burdens that she's getting and father she is wondering i sense if if there's answers to some of her prayers so you know your word says that you can ask for a sign for the good so father would you remind her of somebody that she's prayed for recently or in the past and would you just let her know um um, how that prayer has been answered for them. And so I just bless her to be encouraged by you uh, in the, the things that she's done that you are so pleased with. And so bless you, Barbara. Um, Sherry Feltman, Maine. So Father, what do you want to say to Sherry today? 
tonight. And um, Sherry, I just feel like the word understanding is for you. And I don't know if you need understanding or if you're looking for understanding in a situation. But I just bless you right now, Father, that she is a sensitive person. I thank you that she's been wired to see and understand in ways. And so I bless that understanding that is in her to be able to see through the maze that is in front of her right now. I just bless Bless that understanding to just, you know, really like to see through the fog and find the path that you have for her. Because Sherry, I just feel like there is a path in front of you. I feel like it's going to have a, it's got a little bit of twists and turns, but I feel like he's really pleased with you and he wants you to know that. That you have really followed the path in front of you, even with its twists and turns and ups and downs and and he just wants you to know you're not um, you're not lost. You know he's got everything under control. Um, but the path you're on, there's a there's a book called Hind's Feet for High Places. It's a very old book, but I feel like you're very much like the girl, the, the heroine in that book. That um, you've decided, you've chosen to follow. You know to find the shepherd and um there's and mercy and goodness are your companions and so i encourage you if you've never read that book read it because i think it's going to minister to you amanda logan add me please well amanda i just feel like the lord says you have been added my girl and uh, i feel like he just wants you to know like your name is in the book, book for life your name is before him. it's on the palm of his hand he can't go a day an hour a minute without looking down and seeing your your name i want you to know you too are the apple of his eye that he just loves you and i i just feel like uh you're a, a singer i don't know if you if you just i don't know if you sing just by yourself with him but um i saw you brushing your hair and just um singing as you brush you know and i just feel like he's got these little songs in your spirit that for you are for you and him little love songs and he wants you to know that um, in those times your spirit is um, growing and enlarging and you're learning to just trust what's in there and let it come out and I think that as you do that you're going to get more opportunities to not just uh, sing uh, not just to sing maybe in church with other people but I think that Thing about trusting your spirit starts off with the singing and then pretty soon ends up with words so i just bless you in that uh, i think that uh, i just even when i said that amanda i feel like you're supposed to sing over people so when he gives you the name of somebody write the name down and just begin to sing one of your songs over them i think you'll be amazed some people pray with words some people sing and so i just feel like try singing over some of the people on your prayer list god bless you and let me know if that makes sense. Alyssa Thomas. So, Father, what do you want to say to Alyssa? Father, um, Alyssa, I just feel like the Lord is saying, I just saw a picture of you in a kitchen, and you had this uh, red gingham. It was a real fresh-looking kitchen, you know? And, um, and uh, there's a fresh pie, and it's just this wonderful picture of just a, a real home and a hominess and you know a real sense of welcome and you know if you walk into someone's house and you smell a pie and, and I mean it just and coffee what's the first thing you want to do is just sit down and have fellowship and I feel like he just really wants to create that for you and him but I also have a sense that, that you probably have a hospitality gift and that um, you create a, a welcoming atmosphere for people and if that makes sense to you let me know because I just sense that he wants you to know that you have impacted a lot of lives by inviting people over and by um, you don't you don't think you're making or you're making this and that is that big of a deal but it's those uh, homey touches that have made people feel like you're caring for them that it's special that you would do that for them so he wants you to know there's lots more uh, fruit than you realize so god bless you Alyssa. and boy if you make pies put me on your list <laughs> okay Paige and aaron bowdy bowdy or ba bobby um, mary so father what do you want to say to Paige and aaron and right away i got for you too that 
know together, let no man put asunder. I feel like he wants you to know without a shadow of a doubt that he brought the two of you together. And I feel like there will be times when you're going up the mountain and there will be times that you're walking through the valley, but I never saw you guys in this vision breaking hands once. Your hands stayed together in the good times and the bad times. You were completely linked together. And I feel like that, um, I felt like what I was sensing was because of that, um, and I don't know how long you've been married, but I feel like because of that, uh, you, you, well, I hate to say this and I'm kind of stumbling because I don't want to be too directive, but I just really wonder if you guys aren't going to have some type of street to, um, you know, newly engaged couples or married couples, you know, like having them in your home as a home group or something, because I feel like the relationship that you guys are building is going to be something that you can share with others, you know, how to keep their marriages strong too. So uh, I just bless you in that. And I feel like the Lord is saying to remind you though, to take time separately to also get built up, you know, um, I know you love to pray together and I know you love to do stuff together, but I felt like sometimes God wants to just have some time alone with each of you. So whatever that looks like, God bless you. So Melinda Parks, uh, a worship warrior, Melinda Parks Long. So Father, what do you want to say to a worship warrior? Well, you know what, Melinda, there's a song, an old song by Twyla Paris called The Warrior is a Child. And if you ever if you have a chance to look that up, I'd encourage you to. And um, I just feel like the Lord says that, you know, what he loves about you is he loves that you worship. And what he also loves about you is when you need to be a warrior, you can be a warrior. But he loves that, um, you know, a worshiper is a lover of God, you know, and a warrior stands and fights for God. So I just bless you right now to have those times where you're just so in love and where you just can just love him. And um, I just feel like there's sometimes you, um, I just saw you sometimes standing in a doorway and just worshiping and without realizing it your worship is warfare in the sense that you know when you're so in love with him and you call the presence of god into a place or call it down you know from around you you know that that very stance creates like a boundary and a protection and a fence and so um and i mean a fence not o fence so i uh, i just really bless you to you know, walk that line between being a, a worship lover and um, and also to be a worship warrior. I, I so hesitate to say worship warrior because for me, um, I don't worship to war. I worship to focus on God and then out of that place, you know, all sorts of awesome things happen. And I, I just have a sense that that's where you are too. And so I just bless you to grow in your understanding of uh the audience that surrounds you and the effect that you're having when you're worshiping God. So tell me if that makes sense, okay? This was a hard one because I think the the two words kind of threw me off a little bit. So just let me know if that makes sense to you. So Tina Morales. So Father, what do you want to say to Tina? Oh, Tina, I just felt like as soon as I got the your last name out, I just felt like the Lord said to tell you that he just loves you so much. I mean, he is just enamored of you. And um, I just, uh, I don't have a clue what you look like, but I saw this picture of this, you know, kind of little person there and, uh, you know, long hair and, you know, um, just so full of the joy of God and your heart was so big. And uh, I just felt like God wants you to know that he is so in love with you and so thrilled with you. And uh, But his hardest thing is getting you to just stop and receive what he wants to give you. I even feel like he's tried to extend you blessings and you're so generous and so kind you keep giving them away to other people. So um, I just feel like there's some things he's sending to you that he wants you to keep. And there is going to be a sign and a wonder to other people about that God will do this for those he loves. And so um, I just bless you. Um, I don't know if lately you've gotten a bracelet or some type of piece of jewelry, but um, I feel like there's something coming for you or maybe you're even going to buy it and it's going to be a sign to you. It's going to be a remembrance to you about how much your God loves you. And yes, he's going to give you permission to um, go and buy it because he wants you to know that he can supply those things for you. So God bless you, Tina. Um, Denise Santiago, can I have a word for me? My daughter 
daughter Janice, I just lost you. The list went up. So Janice. So let me see if I can get this list to come back down. Da, 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 da. I am never gonna get through this list. Hey Dave, just if you're listening. So let me go up. Oh, there you are. Okay, um, let me see. Denise and my daughter, Janice. Oh, that's very cool. Okay, so Father, thank you for this mother-daughter team. And Father, we just pray right now that, you know, um, their love for you is multiplied when they're together. And so I pray for, I just feel like there's a, um, separate ministries for you, but there's also joint ministries for you, which is really interesting. I feel like there are times when he has you guys come together to do some stuff, and then there's also going to be some times where, you know, one of you is going to stay behind and be prayer support, and just support, just encourage, and say, you go for it. And so um, I just love that what he's doing is he's multiplying your effect and your influence on people. And so, Father, I thank you. And I feel like he's saying, don't be disappointed when um, one or the other says, well, I don't feel like I'm supposed to do that. I'm supposed to do this because I feel like he knows when you're supposed to be a, uh, a force together and he knows when you're going to be an individual force and it's because of the people you're going to meet individually I think there's some really interesting people that you're going to meet when he sends you out separately but you're not being split up when that happens it is literally God um, multiplying you so God bless you in that um, okay let me just see Whew, there's a lot of names on this so I do not know who's taking names but I think you probably are way past 45. Um, Jocelyn Lopez. So Father, what do you want to give, what do you want to say to Jocelyn? And Jocelyn, I just feel like right away I heard the, oh, I skipped Daisy, I'm so sorry. Okay, so first we'll do Jocelyn. Jocelyn, I just felt like I heard the word rest. Um, I, I, that's just the word I got for you. I just feel like the Lord is saying, just rest. Just rest in me. And I, I just feel like that's a hard thing, um, you know, for a lot of us to hear is that rest. It doesn't seem like an answer, but it really is an answer because, you know, if you can rest, it means you're going to occupy the, the place well that he has you right now. And it means you're not making anything happen. You're waiting to let him make it happen. So I just hear that word for you. Denise is for you to or Jocelyn Lopez, I do, and he hasn't forgotten about you, and you're not going to miss the timing on something. You know, this is a special time where he's teaching you to rest and to occupy the land. Okay, Daisy Alvarez, Father, what do you want to say to Daisy? Lord, what do you, what do you have to say to her? <laughs> so, Daisy, I feel like he says, you make me smile, and uh, you bring him joy. Boy. And I think there's no greater um, compliment than to hear the father say that you bring him joy. So I just feel like he wants you to know that. Like um, you're not supposed to worry about whether you're making everybody else happy. The thing is you make him happy. And uh, I feel like he's going to um, open the doors for a couple of things for you to do in the near future. And um, they're going to be things that I, I think they're going to be things that you really like to do. You might be a bit nervous when you first think about it, but um, um, he's just grinning from ear to ear that, you know, I feel like he's taking your hand and going, come on, let's go try this. So anyways, I bless you in whatever your new adventures are that he's going to, um, that he's going to help you with and take you into. Okay, I need my screen to go up. I can't figure out where I am. I'm so sorry, you guys. There's this big, long list of names, and I've lost my list. Here we go. Marcy Krause from Maryland. Well, she praying for God's guidance concerning a big decision. So how about all of us pray for that, okay? So Father, you know, you have promised us that if we ask where the good way is, that you would show us. And she is asking where the good way is right now. And so we are all in agreement right now that you would just blow away the cobwebs and just blow away any fear of making the wrong decision. And Father, we just ask for your peace to settle in. So come Holy Spirit right now, you who are the spirit of peace, the spirit of God, would you come and settle on Marcy right now? So there is no fear. There, there's just a sense of rest and peace in her so that she can hear your voice clearly about what direction you're asking her to go. Because I see you standing at that crossroads that's mentioned in Jeremiah, you know, and I feel like God is saying that he is, he's guiding you and he's leading you. And I think that there's fear of, uh, I don't know if it's the fear of the new 
anything or fear of making the wrong decision. But I feel like he's just saying, just relax, you know, and, and he's going to lead you. And so I just pray for that rest and that you make your decision out of rest. And even if, um, and if you, I just feel like, I feel like there's a deadline looming and, um, and you're still not sure. And I, I just have a sense that God is saying, just make a decision. If it's the wrong decision, you can change your mind. So I hope that makes sense. Okay, um, Christine Felicia Gailey. Uh, so I love a word for my uh, daughter, Clarissa Hallowell, and myself. So Father, thank you again for another mother-daughter. So thank you so much for these two women who long to serve you and long to um, know your voice and your blessing. And so I just ask right now that you would make your voice clear to them. Father, thank you. Like I just I saw like a temple and you guys both serving in it. And I feel like that's just a sign to me of that um, you two really have given yourselves to the Lord and that you've really um, you know that you really minister to him in the you know in the church in the temple and so i feel like um he is saying you know well done and he loves that about you um and so father i just bless their time of ministry to you i thank you that they have a sense of being committed to you and being sold out to you be you and being completely um you know um what's the word for it it's like you're completely surrendered to him and so father in that i pray that you would just um, begin to open up to them dreams and visions that you would just open up the area of dreams and visions to them as they minister to you and um, i just feel like he wants you to know that he's really pleased with that ministry that you've got of you know ministering to him so god bless you so sorry i've lost my place again here um janice car sendoza so um oh and i see Susie tom thomason's on there so Susie, i'm not sure if you're the Susie that i think i gave a word to a week or two ago and if you are can you please let me know because I'm, I'm trying to just focus on the ones that haven't had a word in quite a long time but let me know okay so let's go to janice sendoza uh love to have a word see you my first time and that felt like he's saying, um, well done. You know, I again saw a picture with you of a kitchen. And I feel like um, in this case, God is, is just giving me a symbol of the fact that he just loves being a, um, being in that place of, uh, of just the, the heart of the house. You know, the heart of the family is often in the kitchen. And I feel like you really carry that. You really carry a heart for family, but you just really carry a heart for the Lord too. And um, I feel like uh, there's a maybe a hospitality gift on you i'm not sure but um, i don't know if you have people in because i also saw a bible on the, on the table and i keep seeing the living room so i don't know if you are having um, home groups or groups of people in for bible studies but i feel like your home is really um, uh, doing that, I bless you. I feel like he's saying to ask him too for some creativity, you know, just for some fun things to invite people to. So, because uh, I think you're going to have some influence with your neighbors, and so I bless you in that, Janice. And let me know if that makes sense to you. Um. Uh. Marvy. Blue out early. And um, Marty, I just feel like he's saying that you are precious in his sight. I feel like he's spoken over you at different times that have, in, have maybe blinded you or impeded you to, to the design of God in you. God is washing those things away from you. He's washing them off. I feel like sometimes you still hear some old talk from the past, you know, about your worth and about your value and, um, and your abilities. And I just feel like God's washing that off of you because he knows exactly what he designed you to do. And if he designed you to do it, he's equipped you to do it. So I just bless you in whatever it is that he's releasing you into and that it would be bring you great joy but he's saying you know be bold and be courageous like step into what he's asking you to do and don't let what you have heard in the past maybe from growing up maybe as a kid i don't know but don't let stuff from the past make you think that um um you can't do it because god says you're totally equipped um jazz 
Torres on and Heather Garcia. I think you're going to be my last two. Sorry, everybody. Uh, but greetings from Miami. Oh, God bless you. All the way from Miami. That's awesome. Okay, so um, Jazz. But Father, what do you want to say to Jazz? And Jazz, I just feel like I'm hearing the word go for it. So I just feel like if you've been holding back in any way, um, I feel like he's been giving you some ideas on some stuff to do. You released, like, go for it. I think you've got some really great ideas that he's dropping into your spirit. And I don't know if it's about ways to help in this time, how to reach out to people or what, but um, yeah, they, it just it just feels inside I feel excited while I'm saying it so I just feel like he's, he wants to tell you like go for it and Heather I felt like he was saying you know um, there is a there's an equipping happening in you you know and I don't think you've always understood the equipping but I feel like you know he knows exactly where you're supposed to be and what you're supposed to be doing and he would never send you out unequipped and so he wants you to know that there's an equipping and he wants you to believe that you can do what he's asked of you to do and so there's far more in you than you give yourself credit for and that's because um i think you don't see yourself the way god sees you and so i just challenge you tonight to ask him god um show me what i urged and i think you will be emboldened and i think you would be you'll be empowered to step into things and keep asking him that as you grow you know each time as you're going into a new phase so how do you see me now what do i look like through your eyes so i think yeah i had the um you're you're amazing and you're becoming more amazing as he equips and releases you into the things he's called you to do um Angela Washington Palmer. Um, Father, what do you want to say to Angela? So, Angela, I just, uh, I, I saw a picture of you dancing. I don't know if you're a dancer. You know, I don't know if you do that kind of thing. But, you know, I don't know if it's uh, symbolic of grace or freedom. I'm going to say freedom because there was something on it when I said that. I just feel like there's a fresh freedom coming to you. I think it's a freedom not only in your worship, but I think just your freedom in the Lord. I think that, you, you know, other people for whatever reason have... Um, you know, spoken to you about how you should do things and how you should hear and this, that, and the other thing. And I just feel like God's about to enlarge your understanding of all of that. And uh, but especially, I just feel like that I just see that dancing again. You know that you, you know He sets your feet to dancing. So I just feel like there's some real freedom coming for you in the next little while. So God bless you. And it is eight o'clock. So I am all done, and I'm so sorry that I can't get to the rest of you. Uh, but God God bless you, and uh, please, oh, a newbie from New Brunswick, oh, who is that, Julie Russell, well, do me a favor, everybody, uh, make sure you get on right at 7 o'clock uh, next Tuesday, and, um, you know, just, you know, be ready to pounce onto Cult Flag at 7 o'clock, and you'll get in there first and foremost to have words prayed over you, so God bless you all, thank you so much for letting me pray for you. Let me speak into your lives. Let me know what makes sense and what doesn't. You know, because I always want to keep growing in my gift. And so, um, bless you. And uh, yeah. I just don't, don't know what else to say. But bless you. Thanks for. Uh... Thanks for being with us, Pam. I think she lost signal and actually we lost her. <laughs> she didn't sign off. I mean, it's so perfect timing. She was having a bad internet day, so she, her Zoom connection wasn't that great. But we're going to continue uh, worshiping for a little bit. And uh, we'll be done in a couple minutes.
thanks for watching. Come on, join us. Uh-huh. Come on. I'm a chicken. And then we are the farmer. <laughs> Thanks for watching us. Sorry um, that we couldn't get to everybody. It was uh, flooded today with names. I think we might have gotten halfway through the names. So we're so sorry if we missed anybody. We'll uh, try again next time. Yeah. Thank uh -huh. you for joining us. Yeah, and we do have a list of all the names that we've missed, and uh, I guess we'll pray for you guys partially. Mm -hmm. So be blessed. God is good. Yes. He is in control. Yes. And you will be okay. And for everyone who is okay, pray for the ones that aren't okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we'll talk to you later. We'll see you online soon.